Great screens, everyone. This is Nat. This is Jam. And welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion 3. Last time, we had quite a few close calls and a boss fight. Now, hopefully, Polter Kitty won't just jump out. And then we have another filler segment, so. Hopefully, we will just go to floor 11. Okay, good. Look at that. Look at how close we are to the top there. So close, and yet, so far. Now, really, we are really close. I don't think that really works here, because we are close to the top. Like, we're well, <clears throat> quite, quite close to the top. Based on what this game cost, I was expecting a 40-hour game. Just saying. So what you're telling me is this is not a 40-hour game. Um, no. I mean, Savvy Kings cost $60, and that game can be beaten in like three hours. How much does Savvy Kings cost? I think full price, $60. Yeah, was that game $60 when it came out? Um, 2009. Wow. Wow. At least I can beat the game in three hours. I'm sure you can. I have. I can beat it in... Uh... You've never yeah, beaten... Have I ever actually beaten the game fully? No. I've never beaten Seven Kings. No, you've just played the little segments <sighs> over and over again. You've never actually... <laughs> Attempted to actually beat the game, actually, actually. Oh, hey. I'll bet I can beat the game in less than twice your best time. So less than six hours, basically. Yes. Okay. Bet, is it a bet? Okay. Here's hats. Let's okay. Let's see if anything. Funny happens. I better leave before they see me, because I don't know. Who knows what type of boss fights? Oh, look at that. I thought there was a bookshelf, and now it's just. Eh. Well, let me do something here. I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Why is my. Why, what, oh, what am I doing here? Um. You're pulling on something. Oh. Maybe you could help me get this spirit ball here. But, no, I got it. So, ha. Uh. Well, who knows? The game Why is... is it when you see I'm doing something, you change rooms so that I ought to make it to come with you <laughs> and I can't finish my task? You do that all the time. I do that because I've... Learned my mistakes from the earlier parts of this Let's Play, where we make like very little progress as we just stay in one room for too long. And I mean willingly stay in a room. There's a difference for when we're like stuck. Like when we're willingly. <laughs> you gotta only only start to pull back on the when um A appears. You keep walking towards it until the circle pops up, yeah. Pull, oh yeah. Come on, what? What are you doing? Always pull back in the opposite direction. Well, I was trying, but he kept changing directions. So you changed your direction? I did, I did a full, I did a full 360. Whoa, what are those flying swords doing? I don't like, I don't like the field of view in this game. You could see that super easily. I could not. There was a bed in my way. Yeah, a bed that the ghost was over. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But. This game definitely is returning more to this actually feeling like a hotel, because some of the floors we've played <laughs> don't really feel like hotel floors at all. You know, like that last floor we did, Tomb Suites, that definitely does not feel like a, pla 
Oh, you're gonna have to eat that. Yeah. Like, Tomb Suites definitely does not feel like a place you'd see at a hotel. You know? That very much was just... I don't know. Oh, hey, look. And... This enemy that appeared in Floor 8 has returned. So, let's see what's, ah, some, oh, I thought those, I thought those were pearls, but nope. Aw, oh, man. Oh, and we just, oh, it's just full circle right there. Okay. By the way, if you had to guess, when do you think this, this episode right here is going to be uploaded? Probably December 16th uh -huh. or something. It's because I've, uh, at this point, I've uploaded everything up to part 21. Mm -hmm. And I have part 21 scheduled for December 9th. Uh -oh. So this is part 29. So this is either December 17th. I think, no, it's December 17th, I think. So either the 17th or the 18th. <laughs> when this episode's being <clears throat> You know, uploaded. YouTube may not even exist in January. If you're listening, if you, you know, all this uh, COPPA stuff's going on. Should we discuss, should we discuss COPPA? Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, you can actually get hurt by the ceiling fan. Alright. Well, I really can't get hurt. Oh, you need the key. Well, where's the key? Hmm. Does that do anything? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there's gotta be a reason. Yeah. There we go. What? Okay. Well, I guess it's lucky for us we're not monetized anyways. <laughs> it's probably gonna have a little oh, big effect oh. on us. Okay, okay, you're gonna have to go over here. Over here, okay. Yeah. So use the flashlight and then just press ZR. Or, or use the vacuum, I guess. And there we go. And then I'll get the spirit ball. What? Spirit balls, and then enter this door. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, what? Run, run, run! Oh man, I got eaten. Okay, I don't know how. This this enemy appeared in the sewer, but I didn't fight it. So, okay. Man, I wish that the plunger didn't go off my head, because that would have been funny if you put the cap on the, uh, the plunger and he couldn't put it on or something. Alright. <laughs> what was he so afraid? He was like, oh, oh, oh. It's like, this is the room that you've already been in. So far, I really like... I really like the look of this world so far. Oh, this floor. Hey, look, it's a money vending machine that we haven't seen in like a few worlds, like since at least like floor four or something. Floor three, like, some, one of those early floors. Actually, this floor so far reminds me more of the earlier floors of the game. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there anything in here? Get it. Alright. I don't really think there's... Oh. All that money? No. Well, this is not a 100% playthrough. 
We need the key, of course. How many times have we needed a key in this floor? Like, this floor alone has utilized the need a key thing more than, like, every other floor so far. Well, all the money there is gone. So... We need to get behind that stage. And there's a door behind this thing. Question is, how do we move it? Hmm. Let's see. Aha. Let's see, will this do the trick? Okay, I don't really get okay, that does. Just oh hey, hold your puppets over here. Any hints? Okay, you stand by the um the light over here and use the flashlight. No, no, the light to the left there, the red light there. No. Yeah, right there. Oh, that was just for a uh, collectible. Wow. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Where do we go? Oh, that opened. Nice. I don't know when that opened. Oh, and there's the key. How do we, how will we get in there? Um. Spiders. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Ah, no, I didn't. No, I'm trying to use, I'm trying to use the dark light. Anything. Why? Oh. Oh, we can... I had no idea that you could do that. That you could plunge... Use the plunger on those machines. Now we know. Yep. <laughs> now, um... I hate to uh, ask this, but what time are we at? Because I know how unprofessional that is. We're at uh, 14 minutes, about five seconds. All right. <clears throat> what? Oh, you're gonna have to get them. You gotta have to go down to that grate there and get them. What am I getting? The the spirit balls. Okay. All right, so you can just use the, um, yeah, cave. Okay, get them. Get the last one. There we go. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, next time on Luigi's Mansion 3, we'll get that key. Or not.